Uh, what we did is we compiled a list of maybe nine players and which teams are in the market to sign these players, not just because of like, well, I think this is going to happen, but these are actually reports from like insiders out there from what they're hearing from sources saying these teams are interested in signing these free agents. So I just wanted to create a video where we just compile all of them together and just give you updates on what's going on prior to free agency uh, starting next week by the by the time we film this video. So first, uh, let's start with uh, Mitchell Trubisky, who's going to have a big market out there. Some people are saying that close to $10 million a year is what Mitchell Trubisky could be earning as a starting quarterback in the NFL. These are the four teams that are interested in Mitch Trubisky currently. You've got the New York Giants. Surprisingly, we're going to talk about that in just a bit. Let me just go ahead and read off these teams. The New Orleans Saints, the Washington Commanders, and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay, going back to the Giants. Why is Mitch Trubisky being talked about amongst the New York Giants? Why are the Giants interested? Well, the Giants head coach, Brian Dable, used to be the offensive coordinator of the Buffalo Bills. He likes Mitch Trubisky. And people love Mitch Trubisky right now because of the season that he had under Josh Allen, backing him up, getting a, a change of environment from Chicago, and really developing... And, and helping his game, what some people are saying, supposedly. And I think Brian Dable, being the head coach of the New York Giants, sees that firsthand, like, listen, I've seen it happen firsthand. This is a guy that could be uh, signing with the New York Giants eventually and could be competing with Daniel Jones for the starting job. So Brian Dable is in the conversation and signing Trubisky for the New York Giants. The Saints, we know about the quarterback situation. They need people. Uh, Jameis Winston is also an option if they wanted to re-sign him. But Trubisky is being talked about, and the Saints are interested in him. The Washington Commanders, uh, you're going to see the Washington Commanders a lot on this list because they have been being talked about amongst almost everyone. Like, they reached out to every NFL team, if I'm not mistaken. According to a report, I don't know how true it is, that they are inquiring about their quarterbacks. So free agent quarterbacks out there like Mitch Trubisky, I think the Commanders are in the running for them. And then the Pittsburgh Steelers, they have been reported to uh, love Trubisky as well and uh, inquiring about him. But that is the market for Mitch Trubisky and the teams that are interested as of this video being released. Uh, Deshaun Watson. Now, I know he's not an impending free agent, but I want to talk about a couple quarterbacks. Since we're talking about quarterbacks, let's talk about Deshaun Watson first, who's on the trade market and these quarterback needy teams. Which teams are actually in the running right now in signing or pursuing, I should say, Deshaun Watson. Well, let's go ahead and show you the list right here. The teams that are interested in Deshaun Watson, the Carolina Panthers, they've been interested for a while. I'll get back to them in a sec. The Seattle Seahawks and the Washington Commanders. Okay, so first starting off with the Carolina Panthers, the reason behind the Panthers' interest in the uh, in Deshaun Watson and training for him stems back to last year. They were inquiring about him with the Houston Texans. They said, hey, we like how, what it does for the market. David Tepper, the... Uh, owner of the Carolina Panthers, loves the idea that Deshaun Watson played at Clemson and could be playing for the Carolina Panthers. The Seattle Seahawks, this just emerged as of this morning. The Seahawks are still trying to pursue another quarterback, even though they have the almighty savior and Drew Locke. They are still trying to pursue a quarterback in uh, Deshaun Watson, and they're going to inquire about him and see what happens uh, with as far as his market goes. And then the Washington Commanders, uh, again, they have reached out to like almost every team out there, all 32 teams, 31 teams, I should say, uh, asking about their quarterbacks. So that's the market on, on Deshaun. Now, the last quarterback we want to talk about as far as the trade market goes, Jimmy Garoppolo has some interest out there. And uh, here are the teams that are interested as well. Uh, okay, it's no surprise that the Commanders are again on this list. They are infatuated with Jimmy Garoppolo. The Pittsburgh Steelers are even more infatuated with Jimmy Garoppolo. And then the New Orleans Saints as well have been linked to Jimmy Garoppolo. Again, these are not, this isn't just me giving my opinion. This is all speculation and sources from what we're hearing out there from NFL insiders. These three teams are now in the market to trade for Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, again, Steelers in love with Jimmy Garoppolo. They could be making a move on him. The New Orleans Saints as well. Uh, and then the commanders. I think that Jimmy Garoppolo had soldier, shoulder surgery uh, and is going to be out for about 16 weeks, which will, you know, hit and bite into his uh, OTAs uh, preparation. But I, I think teams are still interested despite that. Now let's get into the big name free agents that are out there that did not get tagged and are set to hit the free agent market. And that includes JC Jackson 
Listen, the Patriots didn't even reach out to J.C. Jackson as far as a contract extension. Supposedly, according to what Jackson is saying, so these are the teams right now that are interested in Jackson and could be uh, making a push in him, according to sources. This uh, this is according to uh, Jordan Schultz, who's an NFL insider uh, out there. He says that the Bengals, the Chargers, and the Dolphins, and the 49ers could be making a strong push for the uh, interception leader of 2021 who could help almost any secondary out there. So J.C. Jackson is on the market for those teams. Now, moving on to Amari Cooper. Now, he could be traded uh, prior to the March 20th, I, I want to say, because I think if the Cowboys keep Amari Cooper on the roster past March 20th, they owe him $20 million. So reports have come out from the Combine saying that Amari Cooper is either going to get traded or released. Now, there are some teams inquiring about Amari Cooper as far as being traded, but these are the teams that could sign him even if he were to get released. Uh, You've got the Miami Dolphins and the New England Patriots, two AFC East teams, two teams with Alabama quarterbacks could be signing the former Alabama wide receiver. So if teams want to go ahead and just wait it out, the Cowboys have to get rid of him before March 20th. Could be traded, could be released. That's the market for Amari Cooper. Uh, The next market we want to talk about is DJ Chark. So Chark was injured for the majority of 2021. Nobody really talked about it. But then in 2019, 2020, you may not have remembered, but he actually was a pretty decent receiver for the Jacksonville Jaguars. And he's actually getting a very interesting market push out there by these teams. These are the teams that are interested in DJ Chark. The New England Patriots, the Los Angeles Chargers, and the Cleveland Browns are the three teams that are inquiring about DJ Chark and have expressed their interest in Chark. So uh, we could be talking about Mike Williams off the table, Chris Godwin off the table, Devontae Adams off the table. Who's not to say that maybe DJ Chark isn't the best free agent wide receiver to hit the market if Amari Cooper were to get traded and not get released to free agency. Uh, You've also got Michael Gallup there, but I I think the Cowboys are going to re-sign Michael Gallup and keep him as their number two. But that's that's a market on DJ Chark. Rob Gronkowski still not out of it. Still hasn't announced that he's going to be retiring. We assume that he's going to be retiring, but depending on what team signs him, he could be coming back and winning a Super Bowl. So I know that Rob Gronkowski has come out and said, like, oh, it'd be cool to play with Joe Burrow. But there's been no reports out there saying that the Bengals are interested in Rob Gronkowski. There's only one team that has come out and said, according to the sources, that is interested in Rob Gronkowski, and that is the Buffalo Bills. From Buffalo, that's his hometown. They have Josh Allen, dynamic. Can you imagine Rob Gronkowski, Dawson Knox, Stephon Diggs, great offense, and the Bills are the team, the number one team that is expressing the most amount of interest for Rob Gronkowski. The next player, uh, we've got a couple more that we want to talk about. Let's go over to the defensive side of the football. Let's talk about Von Miller, who's going to be one of the better uh, defensive players that's going to be pursued in free agency. Uh, these are the teams that are on the market for signing Miller. Uh, so he's not out of the question of re-signing with the LA Rams. I, I think he's expressed interest that he wanted to do that. Uh, but the Rams, again, their cap space is just, whew, it's not the best. I'll, I'll just say that. Uh, the Chargers, the other LA team, is also in the market uh, to sign Von Miller. The Green Bay Packers have expressed their interest as well. And then a reunion with the Denver Broncos could be happening. So now Von Miller has a lot of pull to where all these teams are expressing interest in signing Von Miller. It's up to him. He makes the ultimate decision at the end of the day. He could be like, "Eh, I think the Rams are going to repeat. But if he's like, nah, I don't know if they're going to re-sign Odo Beckham. I don't know if like they're going to figure out all these cap space questions. I I don't know. I'm going to go with another team. Well, then you got the up-and-coming LA Chargers with a young quarterback, high-powered offense. Could be an option. Doesn't have to leave L.A. The Green Bay Packers, we know how close they are to making the Super Bowl year after year after year. They could be a topic of discussion. Signing with Aaron Rodgers, who had signed that uh, $2 million extension. And then Denver Broncos with Russell Wilson coming back. And they are just going all in, L.A. Rams style, trying to win a Super Bowl. Von Miller could be coming back to the Denver Broncos as well. But that is the market. Those are the teams that are interested in and re-signing Von Miller. And now the last player that we want to talk about, one of the better offensive linemen out there in the free market, I would say Teron Armstead, 
of the New Orleans Saints probably tops the list. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I didn't list them in this video. I think the Jets are interested in Armstead. But there are four teams interested in another offensive lineman, and that is Ryan Jensen coming from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Let's go ahead and read off his market. So the teams that are interested in him, the Cincinnati Bengals, the New York Jets, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and the Jacksonville Jaguars are the four teams interested. The Bengals, offensive line issues, got torn up by Aaron Donald and company. They need an offensive lineman, Ryan Jensen, on the radar. The Jets, as well, offensive line help. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, of course, they show interest. They want to get a deal done, but you might be asking for a lot of money, so uh, that, that's where the disconnect might be for Ryan Jensen and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And then the Jaguars, protect your franchise quarterback in Trevor Lawrence. Those are the four teams interested in Ryan Jensen. But uh, those are just some players, nine players that we wanted to mention uh, that we've heard, that we can confirm as a time, at the time of this video being filmed, that are interested in these impending free agents or players that could be traded. Uh, leave your comments down below if there are other players out there uh, whether it be these players or other players that you think would be a good fit for another free agency team. Uh, leave your comments and your thoughts down below and love to interact with the guys.